laying out your ideas quickly. You can use the space plan and configuration. We can set layers for ideas, use CAD boxes and lines, countertops for kitchens, which is basically the same as CAD boxes for lines. I just use countertops instead. CAD details from view, and um, I'll show you how to use the zoom it tool that I use here to draw on the screen. All right. Make a happy face. Okay, so great communication tool when you're want to think, uh, work with your clients. Oops. So let's go into Chief again. And this time, let's go into a different plan. I'm going to close this one. And I've got this little plan right here where I'm going to demonstrate a couple of things. All right, so here's my plan. I've got a new kitchen that I've laid out. Trying an idea. Um, actually, before I get to this, I went too far ahead here. Let me talk about the space planning configuration. I don't use this, but I do know people do. So if I right click on this toolbars and I go to my space planning configuration setup, it's just going to open up this menu and it has all these different room labels on it. So if I go in here and I click on uh, living room, I can paste a CAD box in my plan. I can paste a family room. I can do a kitchen. All right. So now some people are pretty good about um, drawing like this. This is kind of the equivalent of an architect's bailiwick where they're just sketching out ideas and you can make things bigger and smaller, move things around, take a look at things, just get some ideas on how the space planning might work in this situation. You've got a garage coming off the family room. Okay, So whether you like to design this way or not is up to you. You can do this on existing plans. You can pop in the toolbar, start popping things in. At any time, you can click on this button right here. You can convert it to 3D and see what it looks like. It's another way to visualize ideas that you're trying to lay out. I don't use it. Um, it's not my style, but some people might like it. You might find you like it. So um, give it a shot. Uh, the space planning configuration. Okay, I'm going to switch back to my extended tool configuration. And let me show you a couple quick things here. All right, so I've got a kitchen laid out, and I want to be able to see my ideas in the same plan, but at different times. So, you know, one of the options you could do is use different layers, and, and here's how you do that. So in this particular plan, I have a series of cabinets laid out, and I thought, well, let me try that a different way. Same basic layout, but I'm going to put that on a different layer. So I've created a layer. And my different idea is now on that layer. So just by switching a button, I can look at some different ideas. I could go, well, let's see what this other layout looks like. Layer idea number three. And I don't actually have anything on that layer yet. Well, let's go put something on that set. Let's go back to, to this view here. I'll say, well, you know what? I want to take that basic configuration and try it on a different plan. So let's use our CAD detail window thing again. CAD detail from view, and there's my layout. Let's just select these cabinets. These are all CAD lines now. It's not 3D anymore, just CAD lines. But it's just another way that you can use Chief to, to get ideas, to work on plans, to try things. So let's control tab back to our floor plan, and I'll paste that kitchen there. And I'll say, well, you know what? I'm just going to try it rotated this way in the room. And this is going to be my idea number three. So I'm going to go and I'm going to put those lines on a different layer called idea three. And now I'm going to put those over here. And I'll just pop those in the kitchen. And then I'm going to go turn idea number two off and turn idea number three on. And there you go. So now you can do that. Now you can do this some results in 3D too, but keep in mind that, all right, so you can switch this around, go back to layout number one. So if I tried this door in different spots in, with my different layers, in 2D the door would be gone, so it works great there. But in 3D, I'm going to have a hole in the wall. So 
So I'm going to just tell you right now, as you, if you get into this and you try this and you put, try different ideas in the same plan, it works, but keep in mind that sometimes the 3D things interfere with each other and can cause some problems. All right, the other thing you could do is, well, let's have, let's have items set up on layers. Let's just use CAD lines. All right, so maybe I'm going to lay out a kitchen here. Using the keystrokes I showed you earlier, the number three key, and I'm going to dimension that edge over here. I'm going to just copy this box again. So basically, I'm just using CAD boxes, and I'm going to just get things in the right place and set my dimensions before I even mess with 3D. Okay, so I'm going to move that edge. I want that to be 42 inches. And I want my island to be 39. All right, so there's my island. So there's one kitchen layout. You know, put some windows in. All right, that's fine. I'm just using CAD now. I'm not using any of the other things. So now I have some CAD lines on layer number two. Well, maybe I'm going to try it this, this way. I'll put my kitchen over here, hit number two, pull this down, I'm sorry, hit number three to break. All right, so basically, again, you just lay out the ideas with CAD tools, copy that, cap, copy from that, lay this out, number three to break, pull the edge, number three to break, pull the edge down. Okay, so there's my idea number two, and I want idea number three. And sometimes this is all it takes, it's just to, all right, so now I'm going to pull my kitchen over here, and I'm going to do, you know, so however you want to do it, um, it works. It works really well. So I didn't make a copy of that. So now I, at any time, again, I can turn off the different ideas. I look at number two. Look at number one. Click OK. See, there you go. So, so you see how you can switch around to do those sort of things? So that's one way to do it. And again, I could use kitchen countertops from the cabinet pulled on for my kitchen cabinet layout, and then I've got the countertops in place. So I've done a CAD detail from a view that, now let's talk about Zoom It for a minute. If, if at some point you Google Zoom It dot exe, go to Google and just, go to Google and just type in Zoom It dot exe. It's a little tool. It's a very simple, quick download. It's free, which is always good. And I use this all the time when I'm working with clients. When I'm working alone, you know, I might hit the, when you run Zoom It, it's just a, it's not, it doesn't even install on your computer. It's just a little utility that runs in your system tray when you open it. And then you go to your system tray, and you right-click on that little icon, called Zoom It, and you open the options, this is all it is. It's one little program, and you, it's going to tell you in these five tabs exactly how it works. It's about as simple as it gets. All right? It's as simple as it gets. So I hit my hotkey, Control-2, allows me to draw on the screen. So I might say, well, let's see, if we laid out like this, and I put an island in like this, or traffic flows. So when I'm working with my clients, I'm, I'm, I'm explaining things on a computer. Okay, well, we got a work triangle that's kind of like that. And, you know, so there's all sorts of ways you can use this tool. You don't have to walk up to the screen. You don't have to use a laser pointer. You just draw right on your screen. It's very simple. When I hit Control-1, it allows me to zoom in. And then I click on the screen, it freezes that, and then I can draw on the screen from here. All right, so here's our dishwasher, our sink. Our stove, cooktop, we've got, you know, 48 inches here. So it's a great communication tool to use with your customers. Highly recommended. Highly recommended. I, I mean, I use it in all my training classes. That's kind of how one of the ways I, one of the reasons I found it. So zoomit.exe, it's free. You know, send the guy a thank you. Um, it's just an incredibly wonderful little tool that you can use on all your plants.